Hello, good morning. Uh, this is David. Uh, once again, uh, we continue this morning in uh, the book of Isaiah. I hope everybody had a blessed week. Today is Friday. Uh, pretty much for wherever you're at. <laughs> Unless you're in maybe China or something, then it's maybe uh, already uh, 24 hours later. It might be Saturday already. But anyhow, um, just being silly. Um, today is uh, Friday, most likely for everybody. So I'm glad. I hope you had a, a good week. And if you didn't, uh, if you're going through anything, uh, any suffering, any any type of suffering, well, there's always suffering going on within the body of Christ. Um, I pray, Lord, uh, that that the Spirit of God would comfort you and help you in your uh, whatever you may be going through. Um, this morning we're going we're going to um, actually just begin in prayer right now. Okay, it's not going to be a long one. It's going to be probably rather short, um, but it's going to be a blessing of an episode, uh, a reading from 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 God's word. Amen. Um, a blessed hope that we have. Uh, so let's uh, open up in prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, as we come before your holy presence, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, yes, God of Israel. Yehovah, Yeshua HaMashiach, Ruach HaKodesh, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, all in one, we come before your holy presence this morning, giving you thanks for yet another day, Lord, thanking you, Holy Spirit, for your wisdom, thank you for using us as your vessels, thank you for giving us understanding and guidance through what you spoke through your prophets and thank you Lord Jesus for dying for our sins and the sins of the world thank you for salvation thank you for the blessed hope of the new covenant your kingdom here on earth Lord thank you thank you for these wonderful promises your covenants Lord Father God your covenant that you made through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and through David. Thank you so much, Father. As I pray for every believer, everybody who is watching or listening, I pray, Lord Father God, that our eyes and our ears would be open to your word. I continue to pray that you give us understanding and uh, give us guidance and direction of which you will have us to do for you, Lord. Use us as your vessels, Lord Father God. Teach us, Lord Father God, all truth, your truth, Lord Father God. Continue, Lord Father God, to have your way with us, Lord. And I pray this for the whole body of Christ, your church, Lord. I pray for every single one, from every tribe, from every tongue, from every country, from every nation, from the youngest to the oldest, I pray for the unity of the body of Christ this morning. May you teach us, Lord Father God. May you lead us into all truth, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father, once again. Thank you for your word. Thank you for all my, my blessed brothers and sisters, Lord. So be with us as we study your word this morning. And I pray all these things in your name, Lord Jesus, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in your name, Father, we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, um, you know, I just want to break it down. I, if, for those might be listening, my family, maybe, um, I don't know. Um, my, my mom sometimes watches my videos, and uh, my family maybe sometimes listen or watch my videos. So if, if you're kind of confused on why I say uh, the names in, in, uh, in Hebrew or, or, or um, yeah, if I say the names in, in, uh, in Hebrew uh, as far as Abba, that's, that's Abba, that's Father, okay? I just got to do this for my family because maybe they don't really know what I'm saying um, or anybody else for that matter. Uh, Yeshua was 
how uh, Yeshua or Yeshua, that's how uh, when the Lord walked this earth, when, when God took on flesh, Jesus, that's, that's him. That's Yeshua, okay? Hamashiach would be uh, Messiah, okay? A Jewish, uh, Jesus Messiah, okay? Uh, Ruach HaKodesh, uh, that's Holy Spirit of God, Holy Spirit. Um, so uh, Kadesh is holy, um, Ruach is spirit, uh, so it's Ruach HaKadesh. So um, I just say it because I learned them, I know what they mean. It's just Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So all in one, because He is one, He is unique in every way. Um, we could get into that in another another episode maybe, but I want to I wanna continue reading this morning. Like I said, it's not going to be long at all. Um, we're going to kind of just read through this scripture. And and uh, and uh, from so much we've been reading about judgment, uh, there's a little hint of judgment. And oh, by the way, um, so far, I, I you know, when we started this, uh, rec- when I started this series in, in the book of Isaiah and the major and minor prophets, I said, uh, you know, we should count. I don't know if anybody's uh, been counting or even following along with this study. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there is. I don't know. But I said, uh, why don't we just, uh, why don't we count how many times um, from the book of Isaiah, we'll do it every book that we read um, from the minor and major prophets. Let's just see how many times he refers to the end times. That he refers to eschatology. Okay, this is called eschatology 101 okay and so i said that would be fun to do to just count how many times he's actually referring to the future okay um and how many times and and let's see how important it is to study eschatology don't be afraid of it he want you know the the word of god leads us and prepares us amen so how important it is to study the prophets and and to study god's word all together amen um, so, you know, yesterday I started, you know what? I haven't been counting. I have not been counting. Okay. So yesterday I actually said, well, you know what? I'm going to do that. I, I didn't, I, I've already done what? We're on uh, chapter 20, uh, 25, I believe today. So, um, I, I actually started going back and kind of skimming through my Bible, you know, um, and, uh, and pretty much guess what? Pretty much every chapter so far. No, no. I just went through the first 10. Okay. So uh, pretty much the first 10 or 11, I think I went through. They all have future, the end times. Okay. Uh, end times in mind. Okay. Uh, kingdom talk. Uh, millennial reign talk. Kingdom on, on earth talk. Uh, Jacob's trouble. Uh, all this. Okay. And every chapter so far every chapter and they hint of the future in every chapter so um all right so i will complete today uh, and i'll get caught up with every chapter i've been reading so if you're doing that wherever you're at well that's good maybe send me a comment and then see how many times that he's referring to future blatantly i mean straight out uh uh um not a precursor, but actually future, okay? So uh, it could be one verse, it doesn't matter. Uh, so anyhow, I thought that would be fun to mention. Um, and so uh, we'll continue now reading. Okay, uh, yes, Isaiah chapter 25 this morning. Um, and we'll start in verse 1. Blessed be the word of the Lord. Amen. It says, uh, praise, praise for judgment and salvation. It says, O Lord, I will honor and praise your name. For you are my God. You do such wonderful things. You planned them long ago. And now you have accomplished them. You turn mighty cities into heaps of ruins. Cities with strong walls are turned to rubble. Beautiful palaces in distant lands disappear and will never be rebuilt. Therefore, 
Strong nations will declare your glory. Ruthless nations will fear you. Amen. But you are a tower of refuge to the poor. O Lord, a tower of refuge to the needy in distress. Praise the Lord. You are a refuge from the storm and a shelter from the heat. For the oppressive acts of ruthless people are like a storm beating against a wall or like the relentless heat of the desert. But you silence the roar of foreign nations as the shade of clouds cools relentless heat so the boastful songs of ruthless people are stilled. Amen. In Jerusalem, the Lord of Heaven's armies will spread a wonderful feast for all the people of the world. It will be a delicious banquet with clear, well-aged wine and choice meat. There will be there will, there excuse me verse 7 there he will remove the cloud of gloom oh amen remember what i was talking about what we've been reading a lot of gloom a lot of doom but reality jacob's trouble jacob's distress i mean we're not finished reading about that but this is the refreshing part this is afterward after jacob's trouble after the Lord touches down, judges, and we start building, he starts building, we start building together the kingdom of heaven here on earth. It's going to be literal. And we're going to help clean up. We're going to help build it. We're going to help do a lot of things with our new bodies. Amen. Resurrect the body. No pain. <laughs> no back aches and all that good stuff. Okay. Uh, or bad stuff. Amen. No more diseases, no more none of that. It's going to be awesome, okay? We're still going to have to deal with some uh, rebellious, okay? We're going to have to, it, but it's going to be so much, so much better, okay? So anyhow, this is the refreshing part I was talking about. It says, uh, there he will remove the cloud of gloom, the shadow of death that hangs over the earth. He will swallow up death forever. There it is. Amen. The sovereign Lord will wipe away all tears. He will remove forever all insult and mockery against his land and people. The Lord has spoken. Exclamation mark there. It's going to happen. Amen. In that day, the people will proclaim, this is our God. We trusted in him, and he saved us. This is the Lord in whom we trusted. Let us rejoice in the salvation he brings. For the Lord's hand of blessing will rest on Jerusalem. But Moab will be crushed. It will be like straw trampled down and left to rot. God will push down Moab's people. As a swimmer pushes down water with his hands, he will end their pride and all their evil works. The high walls of Moab will be demolished. They will be brought down to the ground, down into the dust. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Um, such a blessing of a chapter. Um, I want to just go over a couple things here. Uh, it, it is what it is. That's why I love scripture. Because how can you refute that? If, you, if you're one of them that say, oh no, Jerusalem's gone. Israel's replaced by us, the church. And that is total error. If, 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 to say the least, okay? And, and it's just like, well, you're reading the Old Testament. Well, it's in the New Testament. I mean, come on. So uh, here it is right here. It says Jerusalem. He's going to reestablish, restore uh, Jerusalem, Israel. He's going to widen the borders. He's going to make Israel much larger, okay, uh, than it is right now. Because why? It's his land. It's his allotted land. If you think about it, the whole earth and the universe is his. 
It was created by God Almighty. So who does this earth belong to? Who does all this that we see belong to? It belongs to our Lord. And so many here on earth, these rulers of these nations, they actually think that they own this place. That they own the earth. And they could do whatever they want with it. That's some of them. That's what they think. Power hungry. They think they can do whatever they want. And they don't believe in, in God. Some of them. They don't believe in a mighty God. They don't believe in creator. They don't believe in Jesus. So I pray for them. I pray they still got a chance. Every leader of every nation right now still has a chance. The Bible tells us it's not going to happen, but we still must pray for them that the Lord may touch their hearts and draw them away and believe in our Creator. Believe in God because He's going to come back. He's going to come back. I could guarantee you that. 100%. Is complete belief 100 and I know sometimes I exaggerate and I say 110 100 200 <laughs> but 100 percent I have no doubt at all I'm not skeptical at all at all so he will come back and he will judge and he will set up his kingdom here on earth amen Amen. So I just wanted to add that in there. It says, O oh Lord, I will honor and praise your name, for you are my God. You do such wonderful things. You see, so many are fighting over that land over there. So many, all this is going on. When the Lord's saying, That is mine, I do what I wish. My will be done, not your will be done. Here on earth as it is in heaven. His will will be done. It's being done. You don't you you think that anything goes on in this earth that he doesn't know about? He's sovereign. All sovereign. Amen. You do such wonderful things. You planned them long ago. And now you have accomplished them. You turn mighty cities into heaps of ruins. Cities with strong walls are turned to rubble. Beautiful palaces in distant lands disappear and, and will never be rebuilt. Therefore, strong nations will, de will declare your glory. Ruthless nations will fear you. Will fear you. He's telling us right here through Isaiah who's in charge. When these nations, these powerful nations, these ruthless nations don't recognize him, don't believe in him. Well, he has to do this to say, look it, I'm in charge. He is in charge. And he will have his way. Amen. I was listening to a show yesterday, and and it, it made it, it was just like amen. You know, um, is a, a solid sister. She's just like well. Anyhow, I just you know um, I forgot the name and all that, but you know it says. You know, when you're a pastor, okay, and you're a pastor over a flock, okay, and you and you and you're a pastor, okay, or you're a priest, okay, okay, so you have, or you're a rabbi, even, okay, different, different uh, uh, rabbis, Jewish, okay, but it's the same thing as a priest who's mainly like Catholic, okay, and then you have uh, uh, pastors who are, are pretty much over Christians, anyhow, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so a pastor, okay, say you have a pastor and they have a, 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 um, a, their sheep, okay? He, in that church, 
He is the shepherd over his sheep. A pastor has to take care of his sheep, not put him in danger, never. He is, he's a big responsibility to take care of their sheep in every way possible and to go after that one. Those were all models of the Lord, which is our shepherd. And this sister said something that made a whole lot of sense. We do not own, a pastor does not own them sheep. They're not his sheep. He is taking care of them. They're the Lord's sheep. They're God's sheep. And he is to take care of that fold, of, that, of those sheep that he has underneath him. But answer mainly to our, our shepherd, which is our Lord Yeshua. Because he is in charge. He, his will be done. We cannot lose focus on that. Amen. So it says, but you are a tower of refuge to the poor. Blessed be the Lord. There's so much poor. There's so much needy. So many, so much poor and needy out there. So many, so much suffering, especially in the Middle East. Especially in places like this. Third world countries. People are suffering under dictatorship, under tyrants. So much of that going on. But you are a tower of refuge to the poor, O Lord. A tower of refuge to the needy in distress. You are a refuge from the storm and a shelter from the heat. For the oppressive acts of ruthless people are like a storm beating against a wall. Or like the relentless heat of the desert. But you silence the roar of foreign nations as the shade of a cloud cools relentless heat. So the boastful songs of ruthless people are stilled. This is my favorite right here. In Jerusalem, the Lord of Heaven's armies will spread a wonderful feast for all the people of the world. It will be a delicious banquet with clear, well-aged wine and choice meat. There, yes, we are going to be eating. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Hopefully we don't gain weight in our new bodies. Oh, amen. I just had to make that because I, I like eating, you know. I, you gotta, sometimes I got to slow it down, but I, I love eating, you know. It's, I love food. Food's good, you know. Nothing wrong with that. There he will remove the cloud of gloom, the shadow of death that hangs over the earth. He will swallow up death forever. Resurrected bodies, no more dying. Death will be gone. Oh, man. We could only imagine, Lord Almighty, we could only imagine, Father, so much for us when we're not even deserving. We're not even deserving. I know I'm not. That was my prayer this morning. I don't deserve any of this. I don't deserve it. Unmerited favor. I thank them for His grace. I was really, with when I wake up, I, I pray in the, every morning and I kind of was at lost of words, and all I could tell him was, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not worthy. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for delivering me. Thank you, Lord. You are so good of a father. You are so wonderful to us. You have given us so very much. And you're offering us so very much. Listen to what he's offering us. Freely. And all we got to do is, is have trust in him. Believe in him. Thank him. Thank you, Lord. 
Why wouldn't we want to be obedient as much as we could? Why wouldn't we want to? When He is offering us so much, is it about being obedient? Once again, no. He did it all on the cross. But for that reason, wouldn't you want to be obedient? Amen. He will swallow up death forever. The sovereign Lord will wipe away all tears. He will remove forever all insults and mockery against his land and people. The Lord has spoken. In that day, the people will proclaim, This is our God. Yes. We trusted in Him. Yes. And He saved us. Yes. This is a call to repentance. This is a call. This is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Believe in Him. This is an invitation from Him through me to you, whoever is listening. If you're not saved and you don't know the Lord, ask Him into your heart. Invite Him into your heart. Trust in Him. This earth is, is, is going downhill really fast. And this day is coming. And He will save you. We are going to start brand new and fresh in a new kingdom, a new earth, a restoration of the earth. This earth and everything in it is passing away. Give your life to the Lord. Today is the day of salvation. Don't wait around. Don't wait around. Anybody listening to me right now, do not wait. For your life could be gone today. You, you're not promised tomorrow. Me and my dad were talking about that yesterday. You're not promised tomorrow. People die suddenly. So today is salvation. Today is the day of salvation. This is an invitation. This day is going to come. Trust in Him with all your heart. Ask Him into your life. If you don't believe in Him, recite. Just, just pray to Him. Say, Lord... I invite you into my heart. I don't know. Maybe you don't believe or you don't believe in him. You want to believe. You just ask him into your heart. Say, Lord, I want to trust in you. I want to believe in you. Show me. Show me who you are. I want to be saved. I want to be a part of this new kingdom on earth. I want to be a part of your glorious new heaven and new earth. I want to be with you. I need your help, whatever you may be going through. Please come into my heart. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Amen. So thank you once again. I, I told you I was going to, it was going to be a short one. Um, Actually, it's supposed to be 30 minutes. <laughs> I just want to announce that I'm going to start uh, a podcast. It's going to be called One New Man. I hope so. Um, hopefully that name is not taken, but uh, One One New Man Ministries. Um, and so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Maybe you guys could... Uh, uh, start listening to my podcast it's i don't know when it will start maybe today i don't know uh but just uh just just to let you know okay so may you have a blessed day may you have uh may this these words right here be a blessed uh, a hope for you okay and um and just remember 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 please please Please, I left you some links at the bottom yesterday in the description box. Please pray for Muslims, 
to come out of that bondage and to trust in the real Jesus, our Lord and Savior, God Almighty. Pray for the persecuted church in the Middle East. Pray for Africa, North Africa. Pray for our brothers and sisters there. Please, I implore you, I implore you, please, in your daily prayers, help however you can, and especially in prayer. Help however you can for the hurting body. We are the body of Christ. We are the body of believers. And right now, a lot of our body, the Lord's body, is being hurt and they're suffering at the hands of tyrants and dictators and ruthless people. Please pray for the entirety of the body of Christ, especially those who are suffering the most, those who are being oppressed. Please. Thank you for listening today. Uh, tomorrow we will continue in chapter 26. May you have a blessed day. And this evening coming up, Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. If you celebrate the Shabbat on Friday evening. Um, Shabbat Shalom everybody there in Israel. Uh, coming up in a couple few hours right now. Um, thank you once again for this day. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we'll continue in the book of Isaiah chapter 26 tomorrow. May you be blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.